Hello and welcome to my video on how to draw in a particle size distribution chart in Microsoft Excel. So over here I've already got some data from a geotechnics textbook written by Raja M. Das and Khalid Soban. So this is the data that you typically see after completing a sieve test on a sample. So before we can plot our particle size distribution chart we need to calculate percent finer and before we can calculate percent finer, we need, we need to calculate the percentage of soil retained at each at each uh, sieve size. To do this, we just uh, type in this equation, equal sign uh, mass retained at one sieve divided by total mass of the sample uh, using absolute references here for D12. And Multiplying this by 100 would give you the percentage of soil retained at C4. So it's 0% because there's zero uh, mass uh, retained in sieve size 4. So let's drag this down. So in sieve 10, we have 4.8% of the sample retained, and in sieve 20, 11% was retained from the sample, and so on. So now to calculate percent final, just key in 100% minus 0. So we have 100% of the soil sample being finer than sieve size 4. And, and in the next one here, just type up 100 minus 4.8 and drag this down. So for example, in sieve size 10, 95.2% uh, of the soil sample is finer than sieve size 10 and so on so now we can plot our particle size distribution chart we can just go to the insert tab and under the scatter plots you can just choose this one here and I'll move this scatter plot here I'll right click in the chart space and select data click add the series name would be soil particle size distribution chart. The x value should be the sieve sizes. The y value should be the percent finer. Click on OK and OK. So before we can call this a particle size distribution chart, we need to change a few things. First of all, the x axis should be a logarithmic scale. So base of 10. To change, this, to, to change this, we can left click on the axis and click on format axis and choose the logarithmic scale. The base is 10 and click on values in reverse order. So now uh, we need to change something in the y axis. We don't want a maximum value of 120, we want the maximum to only be 100%. And we'd like the labels to be more to the left, so just click click on labels here and select high. And let's add some chart uh, labels. So uh, clicking on this small plus sign, you can add a axis title. So over here we have the percent finer on the y axis. Make this horizontal, and in the x axis, we have the uh, soil particle sizes. And you can also increase the amount of grid lines that you have for each axis. So, to do this, you can just select on one axis, right click, and add minor grid lines, and you can do the same for the y axis as well. There you have it, your particle size distribution chart. It's easy to do it in Excel when compared to doing it manually on paper. So we can thank uh, Microsoft for that, I guess. So if you do like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos concerning civil engineering and softwares that civil engineers use, do consider subscribing. In the next video, I'll show you how to use Plexus 2D.
And as always, I hope that you're staying safe and are fine in this pandemic. And until next time, goodbye.